Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So we were studying uh, EPS session establishment and uh, we have seen location update. So before moving further after location update, uh, I would like to tell you about uh, TEIDs. Okay, so TEID. It is it it, it stands for Tunnel uh, Endpoint ID. Okay, I have already explained this in uh, X2 handover tutorials, but I would like to tell you again because uh, we have to use this concepts of TID here. So suppose uh, we have a TX and RX. Okay, TX is transmitter and RX is receiver. TX has its uh, TID. Suppose it is indicated by TID. TX and RX has its TID and it is indicated by TID RX okay now uh, TX suppose TX has sent a session request message session request message to RX and in this message uh, if TX uh, include its TID TID of TX so RX receives the TID of TX so uh, after getting the TID of TX RX can draw a bearer towards TX and RX can share the IP packets to TX using this tunnel or bearer you can say now after <coughs> session request message suppose rx has sent the session response message and in this message if rx include its tid tid of rx is included here in session response message so after getting tid of rx tx will draw a bearer or tunnel towards rx now tx can also say all uh, tx can also uh, share the ip packets towards rx so overall uh, a two way uh, tunnel or bearer has been established between tx and rx and both can share IP packets with each other. So we will use this concept. So let's uh, move forward. Okay, guys. So our location update has already been completed. Okay, now uh, MME received the attached request. It performed the uh, location update, and now. Now we are going to uh, see the next steps and uh, here you can see I have drawn this UE, this E node B, MME, SGW, PGW, PCRF. These are all components of LT architecture. Okay, <clears throat> PGW is the, uh, I would like to tell you one thing that PGW is the gateway which provides the connectivity towards PDN. That's why we call it uh, PGW, that is PDN gateway. That is gateway which is providing connectivity to PDN. This P stands for this P stands for PDN, and this is gateway. Okay, so it is the gateway towards a PDN. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> HSS is also connected to MME through which location update and authentication uh, <clears throat> has been completed. Okay, so let's uh, continue our. Uh, next steps after location update so what MME will do MME will assign a EPS bearer ID okay it's a ID that MME will assign uh, to its session which is uh, going to be established okay okay so <clears throat> after assigning EPS bearer ID to its session uh, MME will send the create session request message 
टू एस जी डब्ल्यू क्रिएट सेशन रिक्वेस्ट ओके एंड ड्यूरिंग लोकेशन ऑफ डेट वी नो दैट एम एम ई रिसीव दी पी जी डब्ल्यू आई डी नाउ एम एम ई वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक टू दैट पी जी डब्ल्यू एंड इट नोज द मीन्स द आई डी ऑफ एस जी डब्ल्यू थ्रू विच इट कैन कम्युनिकेट टू दैट पी जी डब्ल्यू ओके सो लेट सी द पैरामीटर्स दैट इट विल सेंड हेयर इन क्रिएट सेशन रिक्वेस्ट मैसेज फर्स्ट वन इज एम जी सेकेंड वन इज ई पी एस बियर id okay and also it will send the pg w id okay and it also send the apn okay and also it share the quality of service guys guys i would like to uh, remind you that uh, MME already received these information that PGW ID that uh, let me highlight them this PGW ID APN and quality of service MME has already received this these information during location update from HSS in location update response message you can check my last tutorial uh, <clears throat> okay so quality of service all those QCI ARP and AMBR. Okay, these things are there. Also, it will share ECGI, TAI, these things. Okay, now <clears throat> SGW receives a PGW ID. So now SGW knows to which PGW it needs to contact. So it will send the create session request message. Create. session request message to pgw now uh, what will be the components of this uh, message the first one is uh, your uh, <clears throat> mg okay let me select a different color okay so first one is mg again eps bear id okay and along with this it will also share the apn and also it will share the quality of services okay so these all are same that this apn and this apn and this quality of service and this quality of service but this time it's not sending pgw id because it is contacting to, to the same pgw so there is no need to share pgw id okay and along with this uh, it will share uh, tid okay so sgw creates a tid which is known as s5 sgw t e id okay so this tid will also be the part of this message that is s5 i should write it here create okay so this tid is created at sgw in so s5 sgw tid is also the part of this message and that ecgi tai again okay so once uh, pgw got this tid this okay so what pgw will do pgw will draw a bearer towards sgw like this okay so you can say this is a s5 bearer okay guys so through this bearer pgw can share ip packets towards sgw so these create session request these are this is signaling part okay and this bearer is your uh, user plane part means through which real data can uh, can be transferred okay this is bearer s5 bearer now pgw will 
send a message to PCRF and we call it IP CAN session establishment IP CAN session establishment okay CAN is sent for uh, connectivity access network okay let's come to the parameters of this message uh, this will contain this MZ again MZ and uh, your just a second one more thing I, uh, I would I forgot to tell you uh, actually at this point uh, this create session request message here actually PGW assigns IP to UE okay okay so PGW assigns an IP also to the UE okay so now IP CAN session establishment message is uh, triggered towards PCRF so MZ is the parameter and along with MZ it will also carry the UE IP this is the same IP assigned by PGW to UE okay okay so this is a UE IP and uh, PDN ID or you can say APN APN and PDN ID are both the same thing okay so APN will be the part of this message quality of service okay these are the subscribed quality of ser services okay and uh, ECGI and TAI fine now PCRF determines PCR PCC rules okay PCC rules are determined by PCRF determined Okay, means uh, PCRF determined the PCC rules for UE. Uh, PCC rules are a charging related rules. So, like means whether the subscriber will pay the bill online or offline. These kind of rules are determined by PCRF. Okay, so PCRF will send the PCRF will send the acknowledge of IP CAN session establishment that is. ACK of IP can session establishment content will be MZ MZ and UEIP UEIP PCC rules PCC rules again the quality of services will be there and also the ECGI and TAI okay one thing I would like to tell you here that PCRF determines the rules then it will uh, provide those rules to PGW and then PGW enforces or you can say apply those rules okay so you can add one step here that PGW will enforce PCC rule here okay now PGW will send create session response message to this is the response to this message that is create session request so now it will send create session response message and in this message it will include uh, UEIP UEIP and uh, EPS bearer ID will be there EPS bearer ID will be there quality of service will be there along with ECGI and TAI and one important thing that I am going to tell you is TID that here PGW will create S 
S5 this is S S5 P G W T E I D okay so it is sharing S5 P G W T E I D here so after receiving T I D this S G W will create a bearer towards PGW. Yes, yeah, so this is also a S5 bearer. Okay, so now S5 is two way bearer. That is, both SGW and PGW can share IP packets with each other. Now SGW will also send create session response message. Create session response message to MME this is the response of this request okay this that is create session request so content of this uh, message will be your UEIP that has been assigned by PGW APS bearer ID the quality of service that you will use and uh, TAI ECGI and now the most important thing that is TID here here uh, your SGW will create S1 TID or you can say S1 SGW TE ID okay it's created it's created by SGW so this TID will also included here in create session response message S1 SGW TID guys so MME received this TID right but MME will not make bearer towards SGW because MME is responsible for uh, control plane only okay so MME will store this TID because later we will see that MME will share this TID to E node B and then E node B will make uh, S1 bearer towards SGW okay guys so remember this thing that MME will not make bearer because it's responsible only for signaling part not user plane part okay uh, okay guys so we are finishing this uh, lecture here uh, and we'll continue this in next lecture thank you